surprised about it and where I'm always did, surprised. Where did you first heard that you were I was I you know I this is a fun story. I was actually with my wife up in Northern California. I was uh -huh. teaching at the Sundance Composers Lab and helping a lot of young composers and she woke up and found it says hey you know so it was a really fun fun place to find out uh -huh. I was with a lot of my colleagues and friends and right. and uh, the, the reason I was I, I think I'm really surprised every year because I've been here a lot you know this is my actually my 15th nomination I can't believe that you know and and also because of this explosion of great stuff being made for TV there's just so much great work being done it's really amazing yeah. You know, um, I can think of several folks that man, I just thought we're sure where I was going to be. I was going to be. I was going to see them today, and they're not here. And yeah. you know, so it's a real. It is. You know, it's a cliche, but it really is. You know, this is the win. Just even getting to come here, it's incredible. Well, I like that there's so much good things to choose from. It makes it so much. I think it makes it easier for no, television. That's true, and and you're right. And 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 I think the thing that made Netflix so interesting and so successful was that it really gave that power back to the viewer to choose when and where on what device. Yeah. And, and to curate the experience as opposed to just turning it on and what's what what you know and that's that's a, I think that's a good trend because because also you can you, you can end up having more focused programming that you can if they know there's a niche audience that's really going to be interested in something they can actually make that show and they'll find it so it's not so much like just throwing a big big paint against the wall it can be more targeted and specific. And so let me ask you too: Do you feel any pressure or do you like that it's all it comes out all at once? You know, I the first season was weird because I never had that. Yeah. I mean, I always you, it, like especially when you do TV, it's kind of fun. Usually, there's a little feedback loop, and while you're working, maybe yeah. the first shoot, few shows are airing, and you, you watch a few message boards. Just you, you kind of get a little something back from the audience. Yeah. This was really strange because there was nothing back. Right. It was, it was, it was, and it was also unique in the sense that because you know, especially the first season of House of Cards, David right. Fincher was lead, was our showrunner. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody leaves David alone because he's just right. you don't need David doesn't need a lot of oversight, you know, so it almost felt like we were making this cr cool, like, indie right. movie, and all we were doing is like, let's make this as great as we can, and we hope people will like it. We had no idea if people were going to like it, you know, in all honesty, we right. didn't, you know. Cool. Yeah. With, like, 2016, elections and all that business yeah, I know, isn't that great? I know, I mean, when you see what's going on in the world, it's like, I, I hope our storylines are crazy enough for, like, yeah, you know, like, all of a sudden the Underwoods are seem, seeming kind of tame or sort of, right. you know, no, but it's all good. It's, it is, there is, you know, there's, inherent, there's an inherent drama in this sort of political stage yeah. that, we, that, we, that we participate in. And, and Bo, you know, our, our writer, creator, um, who will be, I'm sure will be here next week for the yeah. show that's nominated, you know, he comes from politics, and it's right. a fascinating world. And he's able to, like, you know, even though we, it's a totally fictional show, he's able to sort of, I like the way that every season he sort of pulls a few issues from from current events and, and is able to you know touch on things. Last last season it was a lot about jobs and work and right. entitlements versus you know and all these things and he you know he, he's able to sort of explore some things that are really part of our dialogue even in the political realm and within a fiction show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Okay. Bye bye.